You may be in a situation where your faith is wavering because you've been waiting for so long for God to come through for you. You are in a place where you feel like God is not hearing you. You are in a place where you feel like God does not care. You got to sit and you got to watch everybody else receive their breakthrough, receive the very thing that you're praying for. And here you are waiting and waiting on God to move and you don't see it. Is that you? You let me know in the comments. But can I tell you something? If you are watching this video, if you are hearing my voice, this is confirmation that God not only hears you, but he cares for you because he put it in my spirit to do this, to encourage you. But there are some things that you got to know so that you can keep going because God is going to reward you in due time. Type that in the comment. God is going to reward me in due time time but the thing is you got to make sure that you fail and some of you are right there at that cusp where you're about ready to throw in the towel but i come to you today as your coach and your mentor and i am here to tell you right now do not give up do not give in hold on a little while longer you're hearing this this is confirmation to let you know that god is going to move on your behalf okay i hope that is an encouragement for you because another thing that i want you to know is that waiting is hard but waiting has a purpose let me tell you something as much as we think that now is the time as much as we think that God, I'm ready for this. God, I, I need you to move on this now, God. I, I don't have much time, God. God, you said you was going to do this. As much as we feel like oftentimes that now is the time, there is still things that we have to learn there's more to change and there's more areas in our life that needs to grow. I'm telling you what I know. See, sometimes God allows us to wait to align us with his will. Sometimes he causes us to wait because he, listen, he knows what's up that road. You don't. See, this is why we better be glad that God is in control because God love you. If you, let me ask you this. If there, think of somebody that you just really, really love. And that, that person may be different for everybody. It could be your child. It could be your spouse. It could be a friend. It could be a neighbor. Whoever, I want you to think right now. Think about that person that you really love. Now, let me ask you this. Are you going to do the best you can do to make sure that they are protected? Are you going to cover them and make sure that they are protected? If you knew that danger was in their path, are you going to try to block it or at least tell them, listen, you might not want to do that. You might not want to go there because something may happen to you. See, somebody's hearing that right now and say, yeah, I, I tell my children that all the time. Yes. So guess what? It, let's okay for us parents or those of us who, who are raising children that they are like our own, whether they are our nieces and nephews, our godchildren, or even our students. How many of you, 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 you pray for them and you tell them, listen, I know you don't understand right now, but I'm doing this for your own good. How many times have you said that? Let me know in the comments. See, just like a loving parent, that's what God is to us. He is our Abba Father. And it's a great thing that he is in control because God knows if I give you this now, 
you won't be ready. And I don't know who this is for. When I was waiting to come on live, I, I look, I could have came on 30 minutes earlier, but God told me to say that there are some of you that will watch this and God wants to give you that very thing that you've been praying for, that you've been fasting for. He really does. But you know what the issue is? The issue is you are around the wrong person or the wrong group of people. And God knows that if he give you that very thing that you want, you are going to allow those people to take it from you. See, there are some blessing blockers that are in your life. And there are some times where God is not going to move because he does not want the people that is in your circle to reap the benefits of it because it's not for them just like they are not for you. So whoever that is for, take it and receive it. But God often makes us wait a lot of time because we still need to grow up. We there's some things that he's saying right now. I could give it to you, but there's just some things that you're dealing with in here. I gotta fix that first because if I give you that very thing that you want, uh huh. If that breakthrough comes through, you'll have that, but something in your heart still ain't gonna be right. Something you're dealing with in here still ain't gonna be right. I gotta heal that first. I gotta take care of that first so that you can really enjoy the very thing that you desire. That is what he's saying. I got to I got to I got to take care of that first. Let me tell you something that I that I think is really good for you to understand this even more, okay? There was a time, and I think my children at the time, my son was probably like 9 and my daughter was 4. And they love to go outside. And listen, even though they were, you know, of that age and all that, I, I always like to keep my, even, listen, they are 23, almost 24 and 19 now. And I still keep my eyes on them. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Your children, they're going to always be your babies. You're going to always look out for them. But where we currently live, uh, and even at that time, we have this big yard and we have this big backyard. And even though it is fenced in, I like to keep my eyes on my children. Y'all, people are crazy these days. People will come up and snatch your children. Something can happen to them. So every time they would say, you know, they want to go outside, I made sure that it was a time where either I or their father could watch them. And so this particular time, y'all, I was at home, right? And so my son, he came in and he said, mama, can, can we go outside? And he was referring to him and his sister. And I said, yeah, baby, go ahead. So at the time, you know, they had this trampoline, they had their little playground set, they had some other things that they could play with outside. So as they were going in the room, in their rooms, getting ready to bring out what they want to take outside to play with, I heard the Holy Spirit say, wait, don't let them go outside yet. And I'm washing dishes and I'm like, hmm. And I hear it again, wait, wait, tell them to wait. So they're so happy, you know, they're at that age where they love to go outside and play. So right when they come in the kitchen, which is, I can see the backyard from there. I told them y'all can't go outside yet. And so my son being my son, he like, why we can't go outside? Mama, you just said we can go outside. I said, baby, you cannot go outside. Just wait a little bit. So my little daughter, she, hmm, and she, you know, walking to her room and they walking in there, probably plotting how to get rid of me because oh, crazy mama don't know what she want. First, she tell us to go outside. Then she tell us we can't. And so, you know, I was like, okay, so I'm waiting. So I was about to say, let me go ahead and, 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 you know, tell them they can go outside because in my mind, I was like, okay, so how long are they to wait? Because to be honest with y'all, I was ready for them to go outside because I needed a little peace and they was a little loud in the house, right? And no sooner, probably about five minutes passed, y'all. Let me, can I tell y'all what happened? Five minutes passed. All of a sudden, I heard these barks, loud, big barks. And at the time, we didn't have a dog. So I'm like, what is that? Y'all, I opened the door, the back door, and I look, and there are three big dogs 
I don't know who dog they are, not our neighbor's dog. I don't know who dogs they were, <clears throat> but they were some big dogs. I'm talking about big. And one of them looked like he was a pit bull. And when I tell you them dogs were angry, I did not know what they were doing, but they was chasing a deer. Two of them was chasing a deer while the pit bull was kind of just back there around the fence. And I immediately called the children. I said, y'all, come in, hurry, hurry, hurry up. So they running. And I said, look, that's why y'all couldn't go outside. And even to this day, when I think about it, y'all, it, it, it sends chills down my spine. Because do y'all know that those dogs could have hurt my babies? And I cried and they asked me, mama, why are you crying? I said, because now I can tell y'all why y'all had to wait because I've taught my children about God from a very age, early age. And I told them, God told me to tell y'all to wait. And even I didn't understand it. I said, but do y'all see what God was blocking you from? Do y'all see what could have happened? And it took a minute for one of them dogs to leave. And I got on my knees literally in the kitchen and I praised God. And I said, God, thank you because you was protecting my babies and me. Because y'all know we are mama bears. And if them dogs would have been on my babies, I would have been on them dogs and they would have gotten me too. Do y'all understand now what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments if you can relate. Is there a time where God, where you wanted something so bad? Hey, it could have been a relationship. You wanted this man or woman so bad, or you wanted that thing to work. It did not work. But you see later on, you look back and you see why you like, I'm so glad that thing didn't work out because that is not the person I would have want to have spent the rest of my life with. Let me know in the comment. Let me know, y'all. Let's talk about this. Let me know if there was a time in your life where you felt like you was upset for a little bit that you had to wait, but you realized that God was protecting you, baby. And see, that's what it is. Like I said, we hear God is in control and we roll our eyes at it because we hear this Christian jargon. We hear it, we get upset, but thank God that he is because he knows the way that we don't. He sees the things that we don't see. And he knows also that as much as we think that we are ready for some things, sometimes there's some inner work that he has to do.